After gold granules are made, they still need to be welded onto objects for decoration purpose. Which is, in fact, the biggest technical difficulty of granulation. How did ancient goldsmiths weld the tiny granules? One way is fusion welding. First of all, a welding agent is created by mixing borax and gelatin, animal glue. Borax is a kind of flux facilitating the flowing of the melted gold. And gelatin is used for keeping the granules in place. Then, gold granules are dipped with this mixture and put in their respective places on the gold piece. The next step is heating. Heating is not supposed to take too long. As long as the granules turn red, it suggests that they have been tightly joined to the gold base. However, fusion welding requires much control of the temperature and therefore scholars have proposed another method called eutectic soldering. The melting point is around 1064 degrees centigrade for gold, 961 degrees centigrade for silver, and 1084 degrees centigrade for copper. When copper and gold, or copper and silver, are well mixed at a certain ratio, however, the melting temperature of the alloy would be lowered. The lowest eutectic temperature of gold and copper alloy is 911 degrees centigrade and that of silver and copper alloy is 780 degrees centigrade. Therefore, copper or copper salts such as malachite powders are sometimes applied to the welding spot to lower the melting point. Mix gelatin, borax and malachite powders and spread the mixture evenly on the gold piece. Arrange gold wires and granules in their desired positions on the gold piece. Heat with a blowtorch. The welding is completed after a little while. <laughs>